Foo Fighters, all my life on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Steve Merchant, and uh, Carl Pilkington. Indeed. Genius Carl Pilkington, as yes. Heat Magazine said. Really? Is that what yeah. he's referred to now? Yeah, huh? yeah. Genius. Saying about people tune in just to hear his games, yeah. such as... Educating Ricky. Have you got some educating Ricky for me? Got some I need some education, Carl. That's I like desperately that. need some education. I want to learn about Chinese kids that are born hairier than average. <laughs> I want to hear, hear about deaf girls that can hear after their mum hits their head against a the wall. These are the things I need to know. I mean, I don't wish to be disrespectful. He doesn't look like a genius. He doesn't look like but a genius. But then I don't know what a genius looks like. Exactly. So, Steve. you know, I don't want to be an look, look at Einstein. Yeah. Yeah. His mum thought he was mental as a child. <laughs> Where'd you get that information from? That was in the Einstein book. <laughs> <laughs> if well, it was in the Einstein book, then it's absolutely true. <laughs> Which but Einstein book is that? His the, theory of relativity? The, 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 big, the big book of Einstein stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the big bumper book of Einstein stuff. It's uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, for a yeah, coach yeah. trip yeah. and you have to fill in uh, yeah. E equals MC1 squared, <laughs> two, <laughs> fish, or three, hello, <laughs> and then it's multiple choice yeah. and you uh, fill it. It's great. It's Did his brilliant. mum think A, he was a genius, B, <laughs> mental? <laughs> <laughs> Some most people go for A, but it is in Ooh. fact B. Ooh. She thought he was mental at the age of 28. <laughs> oh, Carl, oh. you never let me down. You never let me down. So, have you got Educating Ricky for me? We've got Educating Ricky coming up. We've, we've got, got Rockbusters. Uh, we've got Rockbusters. Great as, seen, as seen and talked about in Heat. <laughs> in Heat magazine. It's got really tough this week now. We're not messing about anymore. Uh -huh. Right. Um, got some good prizes? Absolutely. Yeah, we'll talk about those later. Right. Yeah, because, I mean, was it last week that you had the, the classic? Was it, um, I can't remember, I, I'm paraphrasing, Carl, apologies. Something like, I'm here in Texas, I've fallen in a puddle and my knee has got wet. Yeah. Wet knee Houston. Wet knee Houston. Whitney Houston. <laughs> Yeah. And also, it was last week when there was a little bit of confusion over uh, the one for Holly Valance. Right? Of course. Um, I don't think it was confusion. I think it was your error. No, yeah. No, no, it wasn't. And it was Holy Valance, and you meant Palmet. Ah. Then one. Becky, who called up that time and said, yeah. "Oh, if you you get mistaken with uh, Palmet, right?" She sent me an email in a week yeah. saying, "I've done a bit of research. Yeah. It was my fault. I've made an error. Yeah. It is a Valance." Okay. And I know about Valances, as I told you last week, at the very end, my auntie loves them. Yeah. Right? She, um, she makes them. She started off just like putting them on top of the, uh, sort of window around the curtain. Uh, and then she, she thought, oh, I can do more with this. Yes. <laughs> and she had a little coffee table that had magazines underneath. And yeah. she said, I'm sick of seeing them magazines when I'm sat down. <laughs> she, she, sounds, <laughs> she, she sounds like a Pilkington. So... <laughs> I'm sick of seeing the magazines when I sit down. So she put a valance around the table. Yeah, yeah. She just got valances around everything now. Yeah. Then, yeah. Uh, next step, uh, she, she tapes everything. She never actually watches telly. She tapes it all. Because yeah. she gets sick of listening to the adverts and that. Yeah. So she tapes everything. So she's got loads of videotapes and that. And the video used to get on her nerves when she was watching a film. She'd see the clock changing. Oh. And it distracted her from the film. So she put a valance around that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's genius! Yeah, so. That is or, really... is, or is it mental? <laughs> 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 Only Mrs. Einstein can tell. I don't know. She's even made her little um, Jack Russell look like a hovercraft. Yeah, okay. it's great. Still, so everything's got a balance. If you, if you go round and you stand still for too long, the chances are <laughs> she'll balance around your head. Yeah. This, is the, 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 this is Auntie Who? Auntie Nora. And this is the one that farted for five minutes. <laughs> less, less our listeners forget. <laughs> farted forget. for five minutes, called his mum, saying I'm farting, <laughs> two minutes into the fart. She said about uh, two and a half minutes in. Yeah. <laughs> she said I'm about two and a half minutes well, into well, the fart. Well, my mum said, how long has been going on for? <laughs> she said, well, uh, it was about two and a half minutes before I called you. Yeah. And then it went on for a further two, <laughs> two and a half minutes or something. And uh, <laughs> then it stopped. And, she, couldn't, uh, she couldn't type right because there was a balance over the clock. Yeah, she, she used to annoy her when she was on the phone and you put her off seeing so the time. She, it was she was guessing it was five minutes. This was one consistent fart. Yeah. I mean, he wasn't making a noise, it was just... Oh, it wasn't making a noise. Just gas. <laughs> right. Endless gas. Mm -hmm. So, uh, there you That's go. fantastic. Well, we started off with a new one, a little bit of Foo Fighters. We like new and old on this show, don't Indeed, we? Indeed, we like to mix it up. I'd like to play the Smiths from their, from their uh, debut album, um, I Don't Owe You Anything. I Don't Owe You Anything. The lads from, uh... Carl's hometown there. Indeed. The Smiths. Brilliant, that one. Wow. I went to Manchester, didn't I, the other day? Went up to Manchester for a little corporate. Uh, it was all right. Yeah. Um, I, the, he went, um, wait till you get out. You see, Piccadilly, it's better than Houston. Right. right. It was. It, the, 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 you know, it was, it was nicer. I went outside and there was a ridiculous queue. Uh, um, 
uh, and sort of one cab. Right, um, yeah. So, uh... Horse-drawn. Yeah. yeah, and so I walked, and it was okay, it was only down the road, it was a bit dark. It was wet and raining. Of oh, course. the north. I know, yeah. yeah. Um, the I hotel never... was very nice, but no minibar. I've never seen that before. I've travelled all over the world to them in a hotel without a minibar. <laughs> no, so I don't know what's really going way. on there, I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> um, and then I, uh, uh, I did this corporate gig in Old Trafford. The pitch was up, I don't know what they were doing, but, um, you know, very impressive, big impressive. I think they're British football club, aren't they, Carl? Yeah. You did a yeah. gig at where? Old Trafford. It was, no, it was in a function room. Oh, there well, I thought it was the stadium. No, no, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not that big yet. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, but, I mean, oh, uh, you know, I can't really comment on Manchester. I do know that Liverpool was voted the most important music city by a poll. True enough. Um, so, uh, Carl, you're making noises while I'm talking. Yeah, but you do this all the time, trying to wind me up. And I'm not, I'm not saying Manchester's the best place in the world, but what I'm saying is, there's bits of it that I really miss. Yeah. Like last Sunday, right? When I'd, I'd met up with, uh, with Ricky, um, we had a, a spaghetti bolognese, which was all right. Uh, and then I said to him, I said, I need some soil. Damn, I wish you'd invited me. It sounds <laughs> like I <laughs> said, I need some soil. What, what do you think? You need some uh, what? Soil? soil? Soil, yeah. I need to repot a plant, right? Yeah. So, um... You need to repot a plant? Yeah. Oh, fair enough. So, um... I'm like, where, where, you, you can't see you these can, shops yeah. in London. You can't do you know what I mean? Well. There's, there's nothing around. I took him straight to one in my street. Yeah, yeah. but near your street, and that's probably the only one in London. Well, you say that, Carl. No, it, do, it does annoy me. Around my way, it's like, you know. You can't move for soil shops. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. There's earth. You can just pick up handfuls walking down the street. Yeah, incredible. Which People is... just lean over into someone's front garden. No, yeah. you can take the plants yeah. as well. No, yeah. but what I'm saying is, Go on. Manchester, there's loads of decent hardware shops. Yeah. Here, um, you know, if you want a panini and a latte or whatever, you can't move from. But for soil, I had to <laughs> go virtually how many miles away from me to carry that soil home and stuff. Yeah. It's, not, it's not. I mean, London's all right, mm. but if if cities were sort of it's, it's, it's neglecting the peat. <laughs> yeah, at, yeah. Like, at market yeah. really. Isn't well, there's it? barely. I mean, there's barely any mulch available well, for it uh, well, in I, central I, London. I'm sick and tired of not getting a good decent compost of a Sunday. <laughs> Indeed. So you know, I'm thinking of moving to the north, <laughs> yeah. uh, where there is loads of soil <laughs> and <laughs> gravel, Indeed. and animal shite. <laughs> <laughs> and whatever. Yeah. So, so whatever. Are you were going to say if you were marking cities out of ten, what would you give uh, London? Well, if you were marking them on like you know on on what they have. Right. As opposed to what? <laughs> well, as opposed to <laughs> how the you name. spell it. Say, like, I think the greatest city in the world is Rome. Right? Okay. It's pretty amazing. Mm. Yeah. Have you been? What? Yeah. Why do you think that though? Just because, like, you turn a corner and there's something there that's really old. Right. right. It's, like, you're going down a normal <laughs> street. <laughs> go, go and stay in a Derby and Joan Club. Yeah. No, no, no. But but it's like you're going down the road and then you turn a corner and like, like the Colosseum's in the middle of a like a busy road. Mm. It's like, what's that doing there? Yeah. yeah. I and mean, just when you think there's no more, you turn another corner. It's Boy, almost like, as if that was there first. Yeah. Well. Yeah. yeah. But do you know what I mean? London. Yeah. What have we got? You, you know, Trafalgar Square is world sort of world known. And you go there, what's that? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, there's a lot of space there. Get one big B&Q. In Trafalgar Square. To, to, to cater for the whole of people who live sort of central London-ish. Yeah, yeah. And then I'd be happy, but what I'm saying is... Well, with Nelson just popping up through the middle. Because you can still see it, couldn't you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a great B &Q, idea. Uh, 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 so B&Q could be like the whole sort of flat thing and make it sort of grey so it looked like rock. And then Nelson popping up... Make it up, classy is what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Stone clad it. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like you've made an effort. <laughs> exactly. And then you can pop in and then you can go out and go, oh, look at Nelson's column. Oh look at that! Isn't now? Oh look at that! The victory, oh, defeat. That's fantastic. One of the greatest living. Yeah. I need some nails. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Can you bridge one stone? You say. But but why don't? Why isn't there more than them, them, them? More than them shops? Because when I went into yours, every time I've been in there, I've been in there twice now. The first time was to get a shower head. Right. <laughs> right. And I went in there. I couldn't resist buying something else. I ended up getting some super glue as well. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> like Hey, right. big spender. And then, last yeah. Sunday we went in there, got two bags of soil, not one, I bought two. Yeah. Yeah. And I bought some scissors to cut plants with. Secretaries. Well, you don't, scissors. you never know when you want, you know, you might need more soil, I suppose. Well, mm. I've got, I've got stopped out now. Where'd you keep it under your bed? Sorry, this isn't going out, is it, this conversation? It's not going out on air. I can't feel it might be. You're joking. We better play a record. Okay. With me, Steve Merchant, and Carl Genius Pilkington. <laughs> Absolutely. I was Carl, watching a bit of TV. Carl the Brain Pilkington. Yeah. The Brain. Brains.
Yeah. Uh, I was watching a bit of TV last night, Rick. Um, Go on. And I, I had a little Children thought. Children Need? No, I, was, I didn't watch Children Need. No, um, I was watching I think it was last night, it was a bit earlier. Um, I had a little thought for lads that might be out tonight, you know, on the yeah. r on the Raz. Yeah. Maybe they get a little bit of success with the ladies. Yeah. This was something that struck me as I was watching it. A lot of gentlemen, you know, when they're, uh, when they're engaged in, you know, an act of, you know, relations with a lady, mm. they like to sort of, you know, think of an image or something that will prevent them from, you know, <laughs> and, uh, you get, you catch my drift. We're, we're men in the world. Grandmother's funeral is the cliche, isn't <laughs> it? Exactly. And I'll tell you what, what I think, uh, it should be. Rick Waller jogging. <laughs> I was watching Fit Club. I, I know. have never seen I'm, I'm, anything I like it. I liked it when Rick. Harvey lost it with him. Oh, man alive. I mean, I, I know I slag him off, but I do, I don't really like him either. I just think he comes across appallingly, and I think, you know, when he just walked away with that, in that mid-conversation, talking to that bloke, they're doing it for his good. I no, really. But he's, 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 how, he's like 31 stone? I think he lost a bit. I think he's 29 now. Don't exaggerate, Steve. You make him sound like a fat. <laughs> but, um, but you know, oh, I mean, yeah. That was close, wasn't it? When having sex, you know, yeah. apparently, uh, thinking of, uh, Rick, Rick Waller oh, helps. Oh, don't um, look what's happened. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's do a reverse effect. Yeah. Oh, no, me no, and Carl. No, if you're with a lady, if you're with a lady, apparently yeah. that, that works. I know, um, he's out now, isn't he? He's out. Is he, did he walk out? I, th I think so, I think that's it, from what no, I can... No, no, I think next week they kick him out, because I read something about, um, he, they get rid of him next week because of his attitude, and the first time I read it, I thought he'd actually ate someone's hat. <laughs> but, but it was, you lost me. He's got rid of him because of the attitude. <laughs> oh, Everything you think of now is puns. <laughs> you can't get puns out of your head, can you? Oh, Carl, you're great. Look at his little face. He's so that pretty. How long good. have you been working on that? You've got to love, you've got to lo uh, give him that. That no, was that a is, real no, joke. It, Look it, at his face. He knew it was funny. It was meant to be funny. He said it to be funny. And it was. Well done. I, well done. I'm just interested, I just want to dissect it, because it was brilliant, and I'm wondering, how long have you been working on it? About two weeks. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's good stuff, it was worth the wait. I got uh, it now. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well done. The Hattie Tune. Well, I don't Hattie think, there's uh, uh, only one band that can top that, another band from Manchester, Oasis. Oh. Vines, Mrs. Jackson on XFM 104.9. I'm Richard Mays, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. Right. Getting towards that time where Carl really kicks into action. We've got the quiz. We've got Rockbusters. The quiz that's a bit like Blockbusters, but mainly around music. Yeah, and a pun yep. scenario yep. based in wordplay by Carl. You know how good he is at that. Can I tell you uh, what the prizes are this week? Because they're worth playing for. Please do. <laughs> okay, we got on DVD the Manic Street Preacher's Greatest Hits on DVD. The videos, I'm assuming. Uh, the film Human Traffic, it's a remix DVD version of that. Uh, I think we were giving this away last week. You've obviously got a bulk <laughs> stock of these. Groove Armada's Love Box, an album from them. Uh, the best air guitar album in the world ever. Uh, that's got the likes of Queen. Adams, Palmer, Leopard, Aerosmith. Idol. Um, I don't see it. I Aerosmith. think the Smith should be on there. Uh, we've got Purple, Wolf, Cooper, Top, <laughs> Quo, and, uh, Back, Nickelback. <laughs> uh, now, there was another, there was another one around, actually. I seem to have lost one of the points. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is, uh, you mentioned this advertised on TV, the Best Bands Ever album. And, uh, just, just imagine who this is aimed at. It's got, uh, Oasis on there, Nickelback, Coldplay, da da da. The Dandy Warhols, Bohemian Like You, in brackets, as featured in the <laughs> Vodafone TV ads. <laughs> then it's got Smash Mouth, Walking on the Sun, as featured in the Ford Fiesta TV ads. It's for people who didn't know they liked indie. Exactly. Exactly. They, I don't like indie, but you do. Do you like this advert? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you like it. this advert? Yeah. Well, you like indie then. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I love indie. I can't believe it. That's great. Yeah. The Mock Turtles, Can You Dig It, as featured in the Vodafone TV ads. I really like indie. Do you love uh, the T-Mobile TV ad? Yeah. You'll love this. It's got Royce Cup on there, which is featured <laughs> in there. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. um, so that's 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 that me, uh, an album for people who don't like music. That's great. That's coming up. Blockbusters. But I also have a movie because you know last week I gave away Executive Decision. Yeah. That was on TV last night. Yeah. So didn't receive my copy. But, 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 but well, they probably watched it before it was on TV. Yeah. A few days before. I was before. clearing out, Rick. Yeah. Last night I found another one which might be just to entice people. Go on. What is it? Coming it's right got it. It's coming out the bag. The Pelican Brief. Oh. Another arbitrary film choice <laughs> on VHS. <laughs> Pelican <laughs> Brief. Robert Washington. You know. Get now on VHS before there are no more VHSs around. <laughs> it was six ninety nine. I'm giving that away as that's well. That's great, Pelican and that's Brief. his personal collection. That's, that's from that's my personal collection. Um, did you see that gun picture, Carl? I don't think it's even rewound from when I watched it. Really? No, it's not. You can rewind that yourself. Re
brilliant. That's the little touch of Steve yeah, Merchant yeah, there. Exactly. Did you see that picture that he brought in? I don't have actually. Can I see it again, Carl? Yeah, it's just a picture. Of, this is you carry it with you. Do you know what? Well, no. He found it right. Last, last week I was sorting it because I'm moving. I'm sorting all my uh, files out and that. <laughs> and uh, because this is the only school picture. So he I've had got. one school picture taken when he was. T was that 10, 1981? Oh, oh, it's about eight, eight, eight and eight. Uh, okay, tell the story. Why, why, why is that the only school picture I've taken? Just because, uh, no, I had them all, I was always had them taken, right? But my dad thought they were overpriced for what you get. Because uh -huh. really, he said that like, the, ha the sort of the whole idea of a good picture is like not only the person that's in it, but but like the surroundings. Yeah. So, like, if you're on holiday, he'll look at me and he'll go, oh, yeah, you're looking well, huh? What's that hill in the background mm. or something like that? Mm. Where's Rick That's Rick Waller. Catch it up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but all you get on on these school pictures is like a blue background, isn't it? Yeah. So it was like I'm not I'm not paying for that. Sure. And it was a big one. You get a bigger one than that, but that's just like a little passport size, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was one pound sixty. And, and he, he wasn't really happy paying that because he said you could get like some done from True Print for a, uh, a lot cheaper. That he could take himself. Yeah. So, um, um, <laughs> and so, so did he so tell you, you at the time that was the last time he was playing for a school he picture? He said, I'll get you one because it's good to have a picture of you at school. Yeah. Because they hardly ever went and all that. Mm. Um, so <laughs> he said, like, <laughs> What's that in the background? That's my school dad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, didn't, I don't recognise it. <laughs> you got any interesting stories about him? Not really. <laughs> so, uh, I was a good looking kid though, wasn't I? You, you, what are you doing with your mouth, though, Carl? It looks like you're sort of. It looks like a bit like you're a ventriloquist dummy. What do you mean? Well, it looks like you're, you're sort of scrunching your mouth up or, or pursing your lips or something. Do you not think? Oh, I mean, now you've got, dare I say it, very kissable lips. <laughs> <laughs> so in here, look how thin they are. Oh, look at those uh, little you know, thin lips. It's like you. I'm smiling. That's a smile? Uh, that's what I didn't recognise that no, either. I didn't realise that was a smile. Oh, I never, is that what you look like when you smile? No. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Well, what's happening with the head? Had your dad seen you smile before then? Well, I think that's why he wanted to buy one as well. That's like so he can remember what it was like. Yeah. Right. Because I don't, I don't smile. When did you stop smiling? When did you? When was the last time you had fun and you just like, like happy go lucky? When? When can you remember when you, you had no weight of the world on your shoulders? I often think that because I don't sleep like I did, like when I was when I was a kid. I had really good sleeps, and now I don't. Right. So I think. <laughs> Once but you've got a lot of things on your mind. You know, where can I buy soil? Yeah. Oh, How can I confuse a computer by p t tapping in Y in the search yeah, engine? Yeah. Probably when I was 14, I was stress free. Uh -huh. Where? Yeah. When was the paper round? Probably when I was 15. Right. Is it, that's when it started, was it? I reckon. That's when I started getting stressed. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I'm just looking at the haircut you've got in the. Because uh, obviously I've not seen you before with hair, and uh, it's an interesting mop. Um, y uh, did you do you have that done at the barbers? No, my mum mum used to do it. She got uh, that. Yeah. Right. She used to, uh, what she used to do, um, <laughs> you, you can't see it in that picture, but it was one where she did a um, bit of a mess of it. I mean, it looks right. quite. I, quite I can't tell from this picture. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's one of the better ones. Oh, really? Yeah. Right. Um, Were you bullied much? <laughs> <laughs> on, on one of them, she used to, like, <clears throat> use a better newspaper in front of me eyes so she didn't, like, stick these scissors in my eyes. <laughs> So well, newspaper would stop scissors <laughs> yeah. every time. Yeah, because I think yeah. they, they use that for bulletproof vests. Yeah, the tough, the tough fabric of a, yeah. a, a reconstituted newspaper will stop the scissor yeah. any time. No, definitely. I remember, because I know a lot of UN guys when they're on <laughs> patrol, they use some old copies of the Sun. <laughs> they put it in their yeah. pocket. Yeah, they start. Sorry, yeah, okay, yeah. So, uh, she, she used to, uh, it used to always be on a Sunday night when, like, Songs of Praise is on or something. Nothing right. was on the telly, just sure. before Last of Summer Wine or something. Yeah. Yeah. And she used to get the, What uh, a depressing time that was. It was. Having your hair cut and listening to Songs of Praise waiting for last summer wine. Yeah. I always used to get depressed on Sunday nights. Well, and it wasn't because school was the next morning, it was because the telly was so shite. Mm -hmm. I think it was because school was the next morning, because Antiques Roadshow still does that for me. I see the Antiques Roadshow, I love it, but I'm just thinking I've got to go to school or work tomorrow. Yeah. The Roadshow, I wish they put it on the week. But I, I know, I've, no, I've, never, I've never really had that. Uh, when I work, I suppose, <laughs> I work now. <laughs> don't know, I've no. Oh, <laughs> what really. away? What <laughs> <laughs> away? <laughs> Sorry, you were telling us well, yeah, so, so anyway, so she'd get the uh, newspaper, right, and she'd stick it in front of me eyes and uh, <laughs> what does that say go on <laughs> so so she, she you inherited a lot from your mum didn't you <laughs> <laughs> so she'd, she'd cut me fringe right yeah but then she'd go oh it's, it's not straight it's not very yeah. good so she'd go again and she'd keep going and the problem is that why you're bold now i was saying is this that you have got <laughs> hair but she has to get it right yeah. and it, it takes her to the back of your neck to so, get it even yeah. she she sort of removed the newspaper and she was like oh god 
I said, what? And she goes, oh, I'm sorry. And like... <laughs> what? Is this, does, that, does this happen every Sunday? Well, can I ask you, Carl, when she was cutting your hair in this picture, was, do you think she was maybe sidetracked by an interesting article in the paper? And really <laughs> yeah, wasn't yeah. paying attention or to what she was doing? Or did her favourite hymn come on? <laughs> yeah, indeed. And she's or to Compo was rolling down <laughs> the hill. <laughs> in a bar. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, I ended up with, like, you know, a fringe sort of on the back of my head. Because yeah. she just kept going further and further. Sure. But, so, uh, when so did you start going to that barber that was on the railway station? Must have, that's when I started work, so, you know, sort of 16, 17. Mm -hmm. And is he the one that said you have the hair of a Chinaman? He's the one that's, yeah. He sounds like a wise man. Uh, well, uh, can I just stop, I think maybe, maybe we should play a tune, but maybe you could bring in some photos next week, Rick, and we can talk about them on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ben and Sebastian, coming next, Educating Ricky. Excellent. You too, Electrical Storm. Steve. Am I mental, or have we been playing some great tunes We've today? We've been playing some great tunes. You're not mental. You're Onyx a genius. FM. <laughs> yeah. On XFM 104, with I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Steve Merchant, and Carl Pilkington. Carl Pilkington in the chair now. The, um, oh, the talked about, the acclaimed, educating Ricky. Right, well, just in case anyone's new, doesn't mm. normally listen, yeah. um, basically, I'm educating Ricky. Yeah. Uh, do a bit of research in a week, find stuff, news, history, Anything that's interesting. Um, three stories, so give them a nice little headline. You take your pick. Yeah. Between now and three, you're going to learn three things. Yeah? Yeah. So, um, <laughs> the headlines are, um, I'll be no buying one of them. <laughs> <laughs> give us that again. I'll be no buying one of them. Nice, okay. Yeah. Uh, we've also got, uh, Hippopotter News. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Okay. And, uh, can you believe it? <laughs> can you believe it? Well, well I'm going to go with the Potter News. The Potter Hippopot News? Hippopot yeah. Potter News. Right, well, this one, it's, uh, I'm not going to take the credit here. I heard Christian talking about this on breakfast, right, because it's a good, good, uh, good story that happened. Um, basically, I don't have to tell you about it last week when we were having our spaghetti, but, um, no, I think you did. Right, I know what it is. I know what this okay, is. I've not heard this. <laughs> right, there's a little midget. Right, there's a circus. I'm loving it already. Circus going on somewhere. I think it was in America. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> is that present day or old times? I'm talking like in the last three weeks. Okay. Right? Uh, little midget. Uh, circus, really <laughs> packed out show, people are loving it. Um, <laughs> Steve, you're asked the same question I did, I know. <laughs> so, um, so there's a little, little midget jumping up and down on a trampoline. <laughs> That's not a circus, it's a good money to see it. So, everyone, everyone's clapping and he's getting carried away. Um, <laughs> Because he can't believe he's like, he can't believe they're loving it. I didn't know they'd like a little person on a trampoline, but they love me. But you know what it's like when, uh, if there's a crowd of people sort of encouraging you to sort of go higher and stuff. Yeah. And I'm sure he knew he was, it was getting out of hand. <laughs> but he was jumping and he was coming down the road going, hi, oh, yeah, and he's going really high in the air, right? So he's, he's doing this, crowd are clapping. There's a hippo, right, just sat next to the trampoline, getting ready to come on and do his act. Oh, right, I thought he was in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> it's hippo, getting ready to do his act, Steve. Yeah. So, so the, the he's hippo a ventriloquist. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean he's sitting by the trampoline waiting to do his act? Because he's Why do they sit in the dressing room and they go, five minutes, <laughs> Mr. Moss, five minutes, Mr. Moss. So anyway, right, so the hippo's there. Uh, <laughs> he's getting annoyed, is he, because this, because the midget's he's eating going, into his I follow this? Yeah, gonna, this thinking, is really yeah. annoying. They're going to be, yeah. oh, yeah. no. So <laughs> he's thinking, he's already done the trampoline, my pogo stick out, he's never going to work. <laughs> yeah, go on, so there's a hippo waiting. Uh, this, this, see, there's a Great story, and I just know he embellishes it or it gets slightly wrong. Go on. So, so there's a midget jumping up and down. The hippo's yeah. getting annoyed. He the crowd out. are going the mad. The midget's mental. loving it. Can't believe his luck. Although we think, you think, he probably knows he's uh, dicing with danger. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, next thing you know, they're all saying hi, hi, He gives it one big, like, heavy sort of landing on the trampoline. Goes really high, but goes off at a funny angle. Oh, hypotenuse. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, and sort of flies out. Hypotenuse! Hypotenuse! Sure. Flies off at a funny angle. Ooh, dear. Hippo's there, swallows him whole. <laughs> Crowd are clapping, thinking that's why the hippo was waiting there. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> Rubbish. 
It's not rubbish, though. I but mean, no, maybe the, there was an accident in a uh, a circus with a midget and a hippo, eh? But at no point was this hippo waiting to go on, going, come on. The midget flew off at hypotenuse and landed in the hippo's mouth and was swallowed whole. <laughs> this well, is this is what you embellish it. That is great. And what's I that? have to say, though, Rick, when I heard midget trampoline hippot hippopotamus, I was thinking, actually, what didn't happen. Yeah. So... Yeah. yeah, maybe. I mean, it is a, that 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 you should never put those three together. <laughs> never. It's a, it's a recipe for disaster. Everyone knows it. that. Midget trampoline at the <laughs> Are you mental? I'll ask you well, for trouble. Well, you, you know when he told me it. He said, and the midget. He didn't. He didn't mention the hippopotamus. <laughs> and he said, and the midget went on, and soon he fell off, and the hippo ate him. <laughs> and I said, sorry, what was the hippo doing there? He went, it's a circus. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of a circus having a hippo. <laughs> no, what do hippos do? What can they do? You can't train them, can you? <laughs> what do you want? Oh, aren't they like very deadly? They're yeah. huge. Aren't you they? can't have a hippo in a circus. Are you sure? You're not thinking of Zippo. <laughs> He's neither claim. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 no, you know, and it, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't some sort of where Zippo was eating a midget, and it's it's some sort of horrible sexual act. No, it was definitely. I heard it on breakfast, right? Um, oh, okay, sorry. No, it's definitely. Yeah, okay, definitely right. Crude. Okay, good. Uh, well, let's play a record then. So, um, I'd like to play a, a classic Springsteen. We're all fans of Springsteen. There. This might be his debut album. I'm not sure. Greetings from Ashbury Park. I think it is. Yeah. Um, New Jersey. Um, and this is growing up. It's great. It's classic. Mm. Sorry, it Springsteen and Growing Up off of uh, Asbury Park album. Mm. They're great. They make you feel good, Springsteen, oh, don't they? he's a joy. He's an absolute joy. Uh, Rockbusters. Well, this, what, this, what all, this is what they're all, all they're reading for. and writing about. Absolutely. Um, before you get the clues, let me just remind you of the prizes you're playing for. We've got the Manic Street Preacher's Greatest Hits on DVD. We've got the film Human Traffic on DVD. Uh, we've got the Best Air Guitar Album 2 uh, on CD. Uh, Groove Armadas, is this their current album? Yeah. I guess it's not selling very well. They're still trying to promote that. You can have that as well. If you are a fan of the Ford Fiesta TV ad, of the Vodafone TV adverts, you will love the... You will uh, love... The, you didn't <laughs> think you liked indie. Well, you do. <laughs> exactly. And that's got uh, Feeder and Travis and Daddy Drawn Boy and all sorts on there. Plus, my own copy, six ninety nine. it cost me, uh, The Pelican Brief, starring Julia Roberts and Denzel Washington. If you've not seen that, panned and scanned on VHS. <laughs> uh, yeah, so what right. are the clues? Do you well, know what, a pelican, uh, I read the other day, that has okay. to turn its head upside down to eat. Give us the clues. So, Rockbusters... Well, yeah. let me just explain. A, a bird, a bird has, has a gullet, an esophagus and a gullet is all in one thing. It hasn't got peristalsis, which is the movement that we have that can make food... Uh, okay, so a bird has to can only rely on gravity. Yeah. So it it has to have its head up and has to shake. It can't eat. That's you were going to say that, weren't you, Carl? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Rockbusters, um, you mentioned it earlier, one of last week's was, it's a cryptic clue and then some initials. I was in Texas, I fell in a puddle on my knees, knees got wet, uh, WH. Wet knee Houston. Yeah. That's the sort of thing, thing we can do. Use of the with. word knee twice there in the cryptic clue <laughs> exactly. and in the final And the word answer. wet, I think you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Which is wit. Right. So fine. Good. So, um, there's three of them. It's email only, ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Sure. Load of stuff to win. Here they go. Right, the first one. I'm writing these down. Go on. Making it of them. Um, the fella has only got one badge left. <laughs> <laughs> the fella has only got one badge left. Yeah. What are the initials? That's just E. Just E? Oh, just E. Just E. The okay. fella has only got one badge left. This is either a solo artist or a band. Yeah. Um, second one. The unmarried lady is a friend I eat out with. Say that again? The unmarried lady is a friend I eat out with. The unmarried lady is a friend I eat out with. Yeah. What's M the initial? M D. M D. M D. And finally, I really, uh, I really, really love that woman. I love everything she does. That's M. No, give, I think us that, give us that one again. I really, really love that woman. I love everything she does. And that's right. M. Okay. I know. I've got that one. Right. Okay. That's great. It's great. That's lovely. So, uh, yeah. That's great. I think, I think the, the second and third one's quite easy. First one is a killer. Is it tricky? Yeah, it's a tricky one. So, uh, ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. And what, we pick a winner out at about quarter to two or something Quarter like to two, yeah, absolutely. No, quarter to three. What am I talking about? Quarter to three. Yeah. So, uh, so there you go. That's dynamite stuff. Well done, Carl. Excellent. More uh, educating Ricky next. Yeah. Back. Lost Cause on XFM 104.9. Wow. 
Carl, we haven't had a lot of emails. They're tough. I'm struggling. Yeah. I've, got, I've got one, got and I, 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 I'm struggling with two, but I know one of the words, but I can't think of the band that fits it unless the clue's wrong, and I've got no idea with the first one, E. Give us again. Just, just quickly again. recap. Number one, the fella has only got one badge left. That's E. Uh, second one, the unmarried uh, lady's a friend he out with. That's M D. And uh, the last one, I really, really love that woman. I love everything she does. That's M. Well, so, uh, Ricky, what is it, Ricky? Ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. So keep those coming in. If there's no winner, we don't know whether to give it to the person who gets the most right first or have a massive rollover. And uh, what a Christmas booty that would be, as Carl said. Mm. All those... Imagine what you could have... Uh, oh, uh, indecent proposal, maybe. <laughs> who knows? It, you who know knows? what I mean? I've got some real junk, so I can bring that in. Yeah. It, with a mean machine. Imagine with someone Billy this Jones. Christmas. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This Christmas. I can't believe it. Oh, I, thank you so much for the Pelican brief. I noticed yeah. you left a price on. And I, uh, it's on VHS as well. <laughs> oh, great. Brilliant. So, yeah, um, it's, it's, so, it's a perfect Christmas gift, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. Okay. Right. Now, um... Some so that's going. That's going. That's Christmas going on. That's a big, big, <laughs> big prize. It's a big weekend prize on yeah. XFM. Educating Ricky, part two. Right. What's the What's the clues right. left? Well, we've uh, we've we've got left uh, the headlines. I'll be no buying one of them. <laughs> yeah. And we've also got uh, chicken. You believe it? <laughs> chicken. You believe it? <laughs> so there are the two that are left. Which one's right. you for? Chicken, you believe it, is not that picture, is it, in it, that we saw? Which picture? The bloke with the... No, 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 Right, no, no. okay. God, um, that was bad. Right, okay. Um, um, right, so... I just better explain we that. We can't really discuss this on it, can we? Well, we can. Um, uh, Steve brought in, Carl, the best book ever, which is, what is it? I, I found it when I was moving house. It's an FHM publication, and it's kind of like lots of grotesque pictures and stories and like the book of the... A, a book of freaks and weirdos and... And grotesque. Carl opened it, and the first one was like... At the back. Cast at the back. Well, you couldn't believe your luck, could what you? Was it, what was it? What was number 50? A bloke with two heads. And he said, what's number one? One. Yeah. And then number six, there's a bloke who's a squid or something. Uh, octopus. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's loving it. And number one, he said, well, it's just a fella under a rock. And I went, oh, no, read on. I think I know about this. And it's the fella that was found, he caused a landslide while having sex with a chicken. And they pulled him <laughs> up and there he is, the chicken owner. Right. So Carl so... could not believe his luck. So it's not that. Chicken, you believe it? I love that one. You going for that one? Yeah. Right. Well, we've talked a lot on the show about. Um, we talked a lot on the show. Yeah. 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 Um, about <coughs> animals without heads. <laughs> yeah, we haven't. Uh, <laughs> we haven't. We've been, no. We talked about cockroaches could live without a head for well, seven days. Yeah. We talked about that, and then of course there was the. Um, <laughs> The well-known one about the uh, the fellow who had his head cut off, and he he, he blinked. And he said to his mate, "Count how many times I blink when my head comes off." Yeah, we, as you, when, when you told it to me, you said his head came off, and he said, "As he said, <laughs> the basket, quick count how many times I blink." <laughs> and it was Nick Frost that had to go, "No, Carl, no, he he said it before." I went, and that uh, that was that was lovely. So uh, yeah, we've talked quite a lot about things heads coming off. Go on then. Well, this one. Yeah. Right. Um, mm -hmm. back in 1945... Oh, he looked it up the date. He's got a specific date, uh, wow. Mate Jonathan sent this one, you know him as well, it's lad at the BBC, right? He emailed this one in, mm. so thanks for that. Um, chicken, it's called Mike. There's, There's a chicken uh, called... Sorry, I, I missed a bit there. There's yeah, a chicken called Mike. A chicken called Mike, called Mike okay. right? Yeah. Um, what happened was, it was living on a farm, mm -hmm. right? Loads of chickens knocking about, and uh, the owner of the farm is like, you know, getting ready for tea, and his wife says, uh, go out and get a fresh chicken, because mm. my uh, me mum's coming round. Mm. So he thinks, well, <laughs> I, I want to get a good one in, because uh, I want to impress her, because yeah. back then, even then, they wanted to impress the mother-in-law and that. Uh -huh. So they said, all right, I'll just nip out and get one. So he sees, uh, he sees Mike, chicken, running around. Is this during the war or after the war? 1945, I'd, I'd say that was after. No, it ended, well, it ended no. in 1945. Yeah, okay. September, go on. Yeah. So, um, chicken's running about, he thinks that one look, uh, you know, that looks all right. Yeah. I love that one. My he picks it up, um, and he cuts his head off. Oh. Puts it on the block, cuts his head off, runs about a bit, like they do. Um, he thinks it'll stop in a minute. Keeps running about. Hmm. And what's going on here? Right? He's, he's, he's now like chasing a chicken without an head. Yeah. He's saying he should die in a minute. Anyway, doesn't die. Chicken's walking around with no head. Um, lives for 18 months. Yeah. Chicken with no head. Yeah. 
What do you now, think of that? Well, I'll tell you, I've heard this story before, Rick, and uh, my, the explanation, as I understand it, was that um, certain vital cords, spinal cords, weren't severed when the head came off. So yeah. that was why it continued to, to yeah. live. Yep. I don't know if that sounds plausible. It's fine. Absolutely fine. Um, how did it take on uh, protein and energy? The fella who yeah. owned it, he said, well, hang on a minute. He said, I could, I could kill it now. But I've got a wonder chicken here. But he's thinking, he must really want to live. Sure. Right? <laughs> if it survives that, this, I've got something here. Yeah. So he, uh, what he does, he gets a little um, eye droplet thing that he used to use on it. Obviously not, not anymore, right? And he filled it with grain and water and it had a big hole in its neck where its head used to be. And he, uh, <laughs> Incredibly. And he dropped... You know what, there's, there's, I mean, that, that is possible then, if it, you know, without, without infection, without, 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 without infection, if he's taken on things, it is, it is possible, right? Why? <laughs> Why what? Why did he do it? How cruel is that? I mean, that was not cruel, because the chicken obviously, you know... He said, he said if he thought it was a bit fed up, he would have killed it. He said, but right. he was running around quite happy. Well, it wasn't fed up at all, because it had no brain. <laughs> Well, <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I'm just saying what. It what was I nothing. Meant. It was just. It was just sinew and nerves and electrical impulses breaking down energies. Right. That's all it was. It, it didn't have a brain, so it was. But I, I'm worried about the psychology of keeping a pet without a head. <laughs> I'm worried more about what the farmer was thinking than the chicken. I tell you this. What I'm uh, the question I'm asking is: Was the mother-in-law impressed? <laughs> I mean, that's oh, why he's out. That's why he's out to shot this Mike's is, head This off. is lovely, but it's just the head where you don't kill a chicken like that all at once. <laughs> I thought we were having chicken for dinner. Come and look at this. <laughs> running around the yard. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, dear. So, there you go. You've learned something there. Yeah, I have learned something. Yeah? Yeah. So, so one more. That farmer, I've learned that farmer was very strange indeed. <laughs> yeah. There you go. I have to say, to be fair to Carl, I've been feeling like when I read it, the reason he kept it alive was as a novelty. He sold, he, you know, he, he got charged people to come and see the incredible headless chicken right. called Mike. Right. So, <laughs> there we are. Right. That's great. <laughs> so, uh, a tune, Steve? A tune, yeah. Um, I just thought so I'd like to hear a little bit more from uh, that NERD album. We played some of this from uh, from there when it first came out many, many moons ago. Since then, it's gone on. It's won awards, all sorts. And obviously, any ID now, Nerd, as they're sometimes known, kind of big producers, they're producing Justin Timberlake, Britney Spears, all kinds of people. But this is a track from their uh, album. I've heard they're wicked. Uh, they are indeed. <laughs> and this is called Things Again. After the break, we got uh, more educating Ricky and the results to this week's Rock Busters. And Richard Ashcroft. Oh, dynamite. Richard Ashcroft. Check the meaning on XFM 104.9. Wicked Device with me, Steve Merchant. Carl just remembered a little story he was excited to tell you. Okay. Go on. Oh, are you going to tell him? Oh, OK. Um, w when we went into this cafe last week after um, Carl had got his soil, we got two big bags of soil. I was going, get a bag. So, I mean, and, he, and he was, and I can walk home. After about ten yards, he was going, oh, my arms hurt. So he had to get a cab. So we stopped in this cafe. He had spaghetti bolognese. You were loving it, weren't you? It was good. It was a good little day out. And there was a woman that worked there, and she sort of, st I could see her sort of looking at me. And she goes, uh, and then she goes, I said, are you off the telly? And I went, um, uh, yeah, yeah. She went, yeah, Chris Moyles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beautiful. Beautiful. And I just laughed, and we both started laughing. She went, no, sorry, I, I, I said, no, I'm not, Chris, what's your name? And I went, and I had to say it, I went, R Ricky Gervais. <laughs> she went, oh, no. She went, oh, the thing in the office. I went, yeah, yeah. No, the yeah, funny so thing went, was, no. she said, she went and said, oh, no, I saw you on, on Jonathan Ross. Jonathan Ross, that's it, yeah. So she'd obviously watched the Jonathan Ross show thinking, Chris Moyles is... You know, lost his looks a bit or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I found funny, the fact that she must have watched it, yeah. it thinking yeah. that... Yeah, she went, no, I saw you, like, I saw you the other day, and I was like, yeah, yeah, she went, oh. And then we were still sort of laughing, I was thinking, she went, oh, sorry, everybody. I was going, no, it's fine, it's fine. I was thinking, yeah, imagine that, just like, oh, oh, God. great, there's not a better one to pick. That's just <laughs> appalling. Oh, that was lovely. It's the second time as well. That you've been mistaken for Chris Moore? Yeah. 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 Oh man, you've yeah, got to feel I've, bad I've about had, that. I've had Moyles. I've had um, uh, Vegas a few Johnny times. Johnny Vegas, yeah. I can um, so do, yeah. Do you think like people are going up to Moyles, going, you, uh, you do that thing about working in an office? Yeah. I hope, well, I don't know. I don't know whether I hope that or not. I don't um, know. It depends what he answers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah. 
I, I like. I thought you were going to say that. Uh, are you Chris Moore's? No. No. What's your name, uh, Ricky Gervais? Uh, I never heard of you. <laughs> <laughs> that would be brilliant. <laughs> so uh, yeah, okay, right. Educated Ricky, Educated number three. Ricky, yes. Well, we've got the emails in. We've got the emails in. Yeah, yeah people are starting... finally they're finally trickling in. I think people okay. Them. People have but... got the full three right, but I mean it's still worth emailing in because we never know who we're going to pick as a winner. I'll tell you what, we've still got 50 minutes before we uh, give the prize out. So let's give this, give them again. Just give us a quick uh, right. run there because I think these are these are these are tantalising. They yeah, really yeah, are. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the first one, the fella has only got one badge left. Yeah, that's E. The second one. The unmarried lady is a friend to eat out with. MD. Mm. And the third one, I really, really love that woman. I love everything she does. That's M. Excellent. All right. Ricky so at xfm.co.uk. You can win all kinds of prizes. Educating Ricky, right, number three. Final one. You've had uh, Hippopotamus. news. You had you had chicken. You believe it? <laughs> and the the last one is um, I'll be no buying one of them. I love that one. All right. Um, interesting one. This. I, I mean, I spent. Probably three days looking for this stuff, <laughs> right? And another one that I came across, right? And um, I was going to use. I was what a, bit a like, great life you've got! I was just, you know, going on the internet and that. And I also look in magazines. Found a story <laughs> about a bloke <laughs> who um, I don't know. He's messing about with a chainsaw. And he's, he's <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't know. He's messing about with a chainsaw. Um, he was juggling a midget. And uh, whilst well, taking his alligator for a walk, and um, go on, and his arm uh, come off, right? Come off? What do you mean his arm come off? The chainsaw took it off. Oh, yeah. So okay. Like, oh, again, it's anyway, going, going. Oh no. Oh. So uh, there's a picture of him on an exercise bike, sort of just with a, a little stump, sort of balancing. But he's getting on with his life. He's happy and everything. Everything's fine. He's not complaining. It's his own fault. He's got no one to blame, right? So anyway, he goes to the doctors, and the doctor said, I can do something there. So he goes, well, it's all right, you know, I'm, I'm getting by all right, don't worry about it. And he goes, no, no, we've got an arm in, right? We can um, we can attach that, a real arm, from someone who's, I think, they've passed away or lost an arm or something. And uh, <laughs> They lost an arm and didn't want it back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he went, I'll have it. Are you using that? <laughs> no, because I know someone. Because <laughs> I know a bloke, actually. Yeah. Well, can't I just put this one back on? <laughs> wow, well, it's first come, first serve, really. I was just, I, listen, I was just building a bionic man. <laughs> we've replaced one arm with a robot's arm, so we've got a spare one. So the doctor's going, let, let me put it on. He's like, well, oh, all right then. So, so I'm grateful, bastard. So he does the operation. And everything's fine. He's loving it. He's, he's happy again because he said he can brush his teeth. Right. Okay. If this is if this is going to be <laughs> he's loving like, it again because now he can brush his teeth. Right. If this is going to be, and it was a leg. Or no, 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 it no. was a chimp's arm, or, or it was the arm it of was, a killer. It was yeah, it was two left arms, right? Oh. Uh, I'm going to s kill you. Oh, let's let's leave it then. What is so, it? What's the answer? No, it's not that. I'm just what missing. is okay. Right, right. So um, so he says, uh, go on and do it. So he, he he sews it on, and uh, like I said, he's happy. He's brushing his teeth. He can have a pint in the pub. He's lifting a pint with it. All his mates are happy for him. Uh, it goes on for about two years, everything's fine. Then it all starts going flaky. Oh, I knew it would. Right. Was it made of chocolate? <laughs> all right, so it all goes all like gammy, and then for some the reason- The arm going gammy. It goes gammy, and it gets longer. <laughs> of course it does. So there's a picture of him, right, stood in the magazine. He stood there with his arms by his side. Um, one arm's normal, the other one is like past his knees. It's re he can pull his socks up without bending over. So it's is really this going to be they gave him, they gave him the arm of an eight-year-old child who would have been the tallest man in the world? No, he just said, "Oh, what am I going to do?" And the doctor said, "Oh, there's not much we can do," and left it. <laughs> What so, is what, 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 wait a minute, you can't that's leave it there. So, Carl, that's what? not You've a got story. to tell us the explanation. What, 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 was what? it an incredible plastic arm? An incredible expanding arm? Did he fight crime later? No. I, well, that's the end of the story. You've got no scientific explanation as to why... That's why I didn't pick it. But you just told it to us anyway. Yeah, but I'm just saying the sort of knowledge I come over when I'm looking for the good knowledge. <laughs> yeah? So why, why, did did arm grow? why did this arm grow? He must have had an adult arm. They couldn't have given him an arm. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's just what I'm... 
<laughs> it's rubbish again, it's not, isn't it? Well, 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 I think well, it's an interesting story, but you should have It's not, read, and it is rubbish. You it didn't have read happen. To the end. There was photos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you should have read to the end of the article, Carl. No, I did. And he said, you know, he's not happy and he wishes he, he wouldn't have had it done and all that. And, you know. Are you sure this wasn't entirely unexpected? No, seriously, he was saying, you know, his teeth are nice and clean again because he could brush them and that, but his arm's getting in the way. <laughs> really, okay, ruining man. his shirts and everything. <laughs> so I'll leave that. Let's play, let's play a tune, let's come back with the next one, because I love the fact that that... This is like Ronnie Corbett telling one of his jokes. That's ironic. <laughs> that wasn't even the story. He was going to tell us. Oh, record. Level come through. Mm -hmm. Quite like that. On XFM 104.9. Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. In the chair. We've had the, uh... We've had the answers in. It's Rockbusters. Mm -hmm. It's the results. Yeah. Carl, yeah, yeah. give us the winning answers. Right, Steve, you search for a winner. I so will. At random. We can yep. slip into that. So, the first one was... The fella's only got one badge left. I have no idea. The initial was E. Go on. Will I get out the answer now? Yeah, Steve? give the answer, yeah. I think on. you should. That was Elastica. <laughs> yeah? E Elastica. The band Elastica. Oh, I'm not it doesn't sure. work. No. Doesn't work. The word, the word sticker and the and the ba yeah. and a badge are not interchangeable. And it's not his last sticker. It's elastica. Yeah, but like his last sticker. So <laughs> someone's got it. Oh, um, so so say a different word and it works. <laughs> oh, so if the band is is elastica, then it works. God, if only Justin would have named it different. If she'd have just gone, let's call it is elastica, <laughs> then we'd have yeah. Second one. Um, what was the clue? The unmarried lady is a friend to eat out with. Go on. That's Miss Dynamite. <laughs> Miss Dynamite. Doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, but it's been running for four weeks. We've done. We've done the obvious. Doesn't ones, work. Like, Doesn't work. Miss Dynamite. Again, if she'd have called herself <laughs> Miss Dynamite, it would work. She didn't. <laughs> See, what, what, what's happening is pop stars are letting you down by naming <laughs> themselves incorrectly for your clues. Those don't work. They don't count. <laughs> and the last one, <laughs> I really, really love that woman. I love everything she does. That yeah. was M. Yeah. That was Madonna. Yeah, Madonna. I'm, I'm going to give you that. That work. yeah. Right, um, that's the end of that feature, until you can get ones that work. Okay, so you won't hear any more of that, because it's rubbish. You're running out already. <laughs> I do, sorry, do you just think of the first three things that come to your mind and make them fit? Just no. think of three bands and make a clue, and if it fits, it fits, if it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I just, I just went through the game. Rubbish. Play it was rubbish. Whatever. Right, play a record. Hang on, we've got a winner. We have. Uh, actually, you say all this, Rick, but lots of people got them right. Which, yeah. So... I don't know what that proves, really. I don't know if that says, you know, you're the tosser or... Or they're as stupid as Carl? One or the other. Okay. But uh, I'm going to give it to Simon and Daisy and Hitchin. They uh, got the right answers, and uh, well done to them. They get the Pelican Brief and some other <laughs> treats. <laughs> Serves you right. I look forward Serves to you that. right for understanding Carl. <laughs> Swade's new one, Obsessions, on XFM 104.9. Well, uh... I'm Ricky Gervais, obviously, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilgerson. Well, Carl, that's that's about it, and uh, we got sidetracked on the last Educating Ricky. You telling me about a man whose arm grew. Well, something, well, something went wrong. I'm not saying it's, it grew, just saying... <laughs> what, 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 the rest it of him shrunk? It, it went long. <laughs> it went long. What, is that growing? What do you mean it went long? Uh, did it grow, or what, did it come loose? <laughs> that's, that's what I was thinking. Oh, so it's hanging by a thread that's made it look long? Yeah. Within the skin. It's like how you can stretch a pair of tights if something <laughs> is too heavy. Or... Arms aren't very much <laughs> like tights. They so, are very so much the like one, tights. So the one that we didn't get round to on Educating yeah. Ricky was, uh, I'll be no buying one of them. Go on. Um, are you familiar <laughs> <laughs> with, okay. the, with the same white elephant? Something is a white elephant. Yeah, I don't oh, think so. Hold on. You phoned me last night and said, what does white elephant mean? <laughs> <laughs> and I told you. Yeah, I know, but I know where it came from, but I just was wondering what it was about. So how, in what way is educating Ricky, you calling me up and asking me something? <laughs> well, do you, do you know how it came about? You've given away some of the secrets of the show there. 
it would appear. I didn't realise he was phoning you for information. Well, he just asked me what, what the term white elephant meant in sort of like colloquial... <laughs> did, he say, did he say, there's no, why, why, why are you interested, Carl? No reason. <laughs> no, go on, go on. Well, what it is, ages ago when... So what do we understand white elephant to mean? It's... Well, some of this useless that's like a bit of a, you know, a, 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 you know, something that you wouldn't want around that's just, that's just stood there doing nothing. No. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Carl. So, uh, <laughs> so years ago, when, when people used to use elephants Years more, ago, go on. More, when people used to use elephants? Yeah, go more, on. more than they do now. Right. Um... <laughs> <laughs> more than they do now! This doesn't involve a midget, does it? No, no. <laughs> so, um, so, you know, they'd use them in the workplace and stuff. Sure, yeah, yeah, as factories. Sort of, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, new stuff Teen around and that. <laughs> yeah, security guards. <laughs> yeah. Can't trust them with the buns, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they stopped using them. Oh right. God, go on. So there was loads of loads of elephants knocking about, about and the thing so is, right? You couldn't move from. If you have a lot of something, uh -huh. you also have a lot of demic ones, don't you? you a lot, lot of what? You know, sort of demicky ones, ones that aren't right, really. Demic, demicky. Well, you know, like they weren't, they weren't properly. They weren't. They weren't properly. They weren't <laughs> Sorry, but your Carl, properly. what are you what, doing? Right, I'm getting to the story. So what I'm telling they you were, is, they were a bit demicky, so they weren't properly. Have you started making words up? Right. Yeah, and you Stanley Unwin, Listen. reincarnated. What, demicky? What, yeah. There was a lot of albino elephants knocking about. Okay. Where? Where is this? Um, old Africa. 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 <laughs> Uh, should we say Africa? <laughs> yeah, yeah. If an answer's got a question mark at the end, I'm not well, sure. It's it's either Africa or India, but I'll give you a clue. Were these elephants, do they have big ears or little ears? Um, I didn't sort of notice the size of the elephants. I noticed, what I noticed is they were white because they were albino elephants. Okay. Right? So <laughs> that's why they're heading albino buying one of them. Okay. Right? <laughs> so <laughs> what would happen is people who didn't know what they were doing, like, you know, you get people making a mistake buying cars that are full of problems and that. Back yeah. then when people were buying elephants, they'd go up to someone say, I'm after an elephant, and the fellow would say, yeah, I've got one here for you. Sure. This is a nice one. Mm -hmm. And it was all white and stuff and it had like blue eyes. You should never trust a used elephant salesman. <laughs> <laughs> it was just this elephant that's white with blue eyes. Right. So, this is uh, great. So, yeah. uh, so a yeah. fellow who didn't know what he was doing would buy the elephant and he'd get it back and it'd be all sort of lazy and stuff from oh, the worst doing place, the stuff. Yeah. Mm. And he'd say, what's, what's up with this? And his mate, who's a bit of an expert with elephants, and go, oh, where do you all that from? And he said, oh, I got it off that fella, and he goes, oh... All he's... this embellishing nonsense, <laughs> he says, with the story. You shouldn't have all that. So he goes, why? And he says, it's only albino, isn't it? And he's like, what does that mean? And he said, oh, it's, it gets tired. Yeah. Um, it's not that good at doing work and that. You shouldn't it have steals it. from you. But elephants back then were like a god. You know what I mean? Right. You couldn't you couldn't say, oh, I'm sick of this and I'm going to abandon it or anything okay. because ele elephants were seen as like pretty high up on the chain of things. So <laughs> they'd end up being stuck with an elephant, that's an albino, yeah. couldn't do much, gets tired, basically gets in the way. So they said, that's where they're saying like, you know, oh, got a bit of a white elephant there. <laughs> what do you reckon, hell? Rick? I, I feel I don't. I feel like I, I haven't been educated. I feel like I've lost something. <laughs> so at a time in my life, I can never get back. I feel like I've sort of been soiled, and I, I don't know where to start. <laughs> I'm angry. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I'm angry. Sure. Yeah, I can see that. And all that rubbish around. Look at his little face. Well, what was that? All that shit about a second-hand elephant salesman and his mate knew about elephant. <laughs> what is it? What is it? They had blue eyes. What are you? Well, you albinos go. have red eyes for a start. Yeah. Oh, that's it. We've run out of time. Oh, yeah. what? What? The I mean, what yeah. are you going to do about this next week? Are you going to actually do some w educating next week? And what about Rockbusters? Are you going to make the clues proper cryptic clues? Well, that's the teaser, isn't it? That's what we'll leave them with. <laughs> <laughs> Will it be any good next week? Yeah. Tune in and find <laughs> out on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Steve. Merchant. Hello there. Carl Pilkington. All right. <laughs> Don't be nervous. Uh, we, we might see a difference in Carl. He's a little bit shy. Um, there's someone here from the BBC filming this, part of that celebrity boxing thing, the fight, I think it's called, and they're, they want to get a little clip of this, so we're going to let them film for a minute, and then they're going to go away. Is that all right, Carl? Yeah. He doesn't want to be on camera, do you? Do you? I think it ruins radio, doesn't it? Huh? Well, not for the people listening, it doesn't. Yeah, but he does because people are like, oh, that, he sounds like a bit of a looker. What do you do? Yeah. <laughs> and then they'll see it on the telly.
and I'll go, God, yeah, he, he, you know, his head is round. <laughs> It is round though, isn't it? So, <laughs> guess what? I got a call yesterday, um, you'll love this, Steve, mm. from MTV. And, uh, I'm wondering if, um, they could screen test Carl. That's outrageous. I'm loving it. And I was going, yeah, and I come, I said, yeah, yeah, he's trying, I come down with him and I was, I was saying, what about this and that? And they were loving it. I called him and I went, oh no. I went, why not? He went, well, I'm looking at my reflection now in the mirror. He said, oh, that I shouldn't be on the telly. What would you wear for your screen test, Carl? What kind of look would you try and cultivate? Because you've got to bear in mind that the audience out there, they don't know what you look like. So, would you be a snappy dresser like, say, Jonathan Ross, or would you go for your kind of street can't, can't, cash look? Can't like? wear a suit. Don't, you can't wear a suit? Don't hold it well. Uh -huh. So, I'm thinking, uh, I don't know, I'll prob probably wear my woolly hat, because that takes some years off me. <laughs> <laughs> it does, he looks about ten with a woolly hat on. Yeah. Okay. And, um, the, is it quite a cool woolly hat, or has it got a bubble? It's charcoal, I'd say it's the in, in colour. It, it, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, and I'll probably wear me, uh, me anorak. Right. Yeah. Oh, 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 he's going for the, he's, got, he's, he's going, going for the glam. An anorak, he's right? going for quite a glam look. <laughs> well, yeah, oh, no one dressed else for a jumble sale. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. not, I'm not that happy about it all, to be honest. You, are you gonna do it? You're not gonna do it? Well, I'm sort of stuck in the middle. Because throughout my life so far, I've always just, I've never planned for anything, mm. right? It's just always happened. Yeah, yeah. The time, you know what I mean? Being in plays at school, never planned it, but when I did it, I went down a storm. It was that a yeah, we all remember that. So, we, I, as I remember, you did Little Donkey. Did Little Donkey, yeah. And um, then later, someone was filming at the back. Was it your dad's mate? My dad's mate, well, yeah. Yeah, and on the camcorder, he listened to it back, watched him playing it. His dad says, just off camera, what does he say? I don't want to say it because I'm in charge of the show and I think be irresponsible. He looks like a right twat. <laughs> so, <laughs> and so I, he gets I, I, home, I, I, watching that, and then here's his dad just off camera go, he looks like a right twat. <laughs> yeah, all right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What are you worried about? Your no, dad's saying sorry, that other Can words. I just interject, because I'm really worried about this idea of Carl being on MTV, because the problem is that, you know, let's be honest, Rick, I mean, we're, we're getting by the skin of our teeth, aren't we, really? It's yeah. only Carl that's keeping this afloat. Yeah. And if he gets on MTV and the world sort of gets a sense of him and they understand him, and, and he, he won't be ours anymore, we won't be able to control him, it'll be out there, it'll be in the public Well, that's, that's the thing, no, that's the thing, it, it, that's the terrible thing, though, isn't it? It's like, Carl is my pet. But mm. I realise I've got to release him into he's the wild, wild. and you know because I love him, I know he's got to go free. <laughs> sure, but I yeah. want to. I want Kez. Maybe someone will beat him to death, <laughs> and we don't have to worry. <laughs> I, 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 I'll uh, have you on, though. I'll have you on as a guest. Yeah. Which, gets, which gets me on to something we've got coming up today. Oh, right. yeah, he's got a new idea. Yeah. Right. Um, do you know, like, I've talked about ghosts, and we had that good discussion the other week walking to yeah. the Circus Station, yeah, yeah, and I was telling you about ghosts, and you were saying, Carl, don't be an idiot, and all that. I uh, spoke to a woman in the week, done mm -hmm. a little interview with <laughs> You've her. done a little interview. Done Brilliant. a little interview, two minutes or so, with okay. uh, with a woman who's who's got ghosts in her house. So, uh... I look forward to uh, hearing that later. That sounds brilliant. Coming up later. Well, I'm gonna play a classic tune now. I've, I've just gone straight for it. I've gone for the jugular. This is Ziggy Stardust by Dan <laughs> XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. Carl was also nervous. Got a bit of shock last week, didn't you? Just a little bit. His, uh, his dad tuned in. To the show? Yeah. Um, and Carl's never told him that he actually speaks on the show. He just said, I just pressed the buttons, right? He's kept him from it. It used to be radio before and you never told him, did you? Mm. It's because of the little donkey incident. Yeah. When he went along to well, it. Was that the, the twat incident? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he's never told him since, but, but they've promised not to listen, haven't they? Well, my dad uh, my mum said to me, don't worry, don't be put off this week. Because, um, <laughs> you know, I've, no. I've, I've told him he can't listen. But I hear my dad in the background kind of going, oh, Alex. <laughs> so, he might be listening. So that's extra pressure. Yeah. Plus a camera crew in. Yeah. <laughs> I know. You but don't you like it, do you? Well, this is good training for MTV, because then he can watch you on TV. I mean, what's he gonna make of that? Oh. Yeah. Does he know you're bald? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't keep your hat on when you're with him and say, oh no, I'll just press the buttons. No, it's no. just, it's just, you know, it's like when, when I was in any plays, I didn't tell him. No. Um, any sort of parents' evening, I never gave him the note. Uh -huh. Really? Uh -huh. Yeah. So then what did the teachers think? You were just an orphan? No, just on an off chance, um, my mate's dad spoke to me dad once, I think, and sort of said, oh, you got to school to see how, you know, your kid's doing. Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> so there's a parents' evening, so he went <laughs> to one. one kid? He went to one, and that's when Mrs. Matthew said I'd never be a high flyer. <laughs> <laughs> Was she? Yeah. I think we should call Mrs. Matthews and make her eat her words. Well, <laughs> ah, she'd turn on to MTV when uh, I don't know that like their their slamming session. Yeah, and they're, they're go, 
That's young Pilkington. <laughs> He's bald, but it's definitely him. <laughs> I recognise that Willie Hack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, did you see Celebrity Fit Club yesterday? I missed it. I didn't watch any TV this week. The only what TV I watched was, um, Are You Good In Bed? I already knew the answer. What was it? Do you have to have to take points? Yeah, yeah. Right. It was no. <laughs> <laughs> I was off the scale. <laughs> <laughs> well, talking off the scales, Rick Waller. Really? Yeah. He's off. What's well, happened? what he did is he lost he lost weight and they couldn't believe it. And he had a big argument with Harvey and they said, go, never come back to it, right? And then he got to weigh and he'd lost sort of like ten pounds or something. Mm. And uh, they were really... They said, you've been starving yourself, haven't you? And he admitted it. And, um... <laughs> I thought he just, just wasn't wearing his underpants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, um... But he's, he was whinging all the time. He was watching it, he was doing a press, he was going, I've hurt my arm. He was going, I feel sick. And he was going, um... And he was just lying all the time about whether he was doing the routine and what about what he was eating and stuff. And I thought, that's me with yeah, this celebrity like body. It is, it because like it's sort of like... And they go, how's it going? Do you have another drink this week? I mean, I go, no. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't had a beer this week. No. <laughs> Did you do the exercise day? And I go, yep. Yeah, I've done all that. Done all that. Done all that. Yeah. And I try and get out of the sparring because it hurts because there's a man hitting me in the face for fun. Right. Um, because you know that's what boxing is. So yeah, that is that? being hit, I yeah. And I, like all the, I like all the bits except the being hit. I don't even mind hitting someone. Right, I'm so willing, I'd be willing to hit someone. Uh -huh. It's the getting hit that I don't like. Because I know you're a big fan of, um, like, wearing the clothes, the sort of sporty gear. I'm I know looking you, you, good love, you, you look good and you've, you've obviously just switched back there, they've, 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 No, 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 they gave that's you free, this for training. Free that, this was free so to training. That's a perk you love. So, uh, and I know yeah. you like, um, kind of the, uh, the sort of various sort of nutritional drinks you've got to drink. I know you're a big fan of those. I love the protein shake because mm. it tastes like chocolate. Mm. You know what? I've put on a couple of pounds since I've been doing this training. <laughs> right. I think it is the extra meal and, uh, So you're adding yeah. the protein but not yeah. working out enough to, to take it off again? Yeah, but I, I think I've, um, I have actually changed a bit. I've got a, a, an inch on my chest but an inch off my waist. So oh, even right. though I've put on weight, uh, there must be a little bit of muscle happening uh -huh, uh -huh. somewhere. So I just, uh, just to, to, to recap that slightly, you're, you're, you're enjoying all the trappings of boxing. Yeah. But not the boxing. Not the getting hit in mm -hmm. the nose. Right. That's the one. And you are aware that that's what will, what, what will be happening during the, the actual no, fight? because that's... I've got a cunning plan. Okay. I'm gonna duck and dive. Just, yeah, I'm okay. bob and weave, dance. Uh -huh. I'm gonna dance. Well, I read in the paper yesterday. I don't know how much truth there is that uh, Grant Bovey has recruited celebrity hypnotist Paul McKenna <laughs> to help him win. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't true. know if that's of any because I know you've got, haven't you got, um, you've got uh, Spit the Dog? <laughs> you've got Spit a couple of ventriloquists <laughs> yeah. and an impressionist on your side. <laughs> yeah. I've got Paul Boy from Desmond. Yeah, exactly. Just yeah. getting me cheered in your corner. Mentally. Yeah. 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 Well, I don't know. It's all a bit of fun. What do you reckon, Carl? What do, you, do you think he's, uh, well, what's, what's McKenna going to be doing? Is like Rambo V going to be turning to a chicken and. You know yeah, what he's I mean? going to do an Elvis impression. Yeah. And take <laughs> if I say the right words. No, I think it's probably he's probably going to just help yeah, him focus. It's, it's, and, yeah, and, um, yeah. I, I think there's there's lots of sports psychologists out there at the moment getting people. So I'm sure it's uh, I'm sure it's valid if it's true. I'm sure it's uh, oh. fine. But um, I've been I've been I've been getting tuned mentally, learning how to hit. Yeah, uh, that was my method, eating and hitting. I think is. And do you work out to any of the music? I mean, do you put on the Rocky soundtrack? Because I know you've got um, no, a CD with all with music from the all five films, haven't you? No, we don't. It's all. It's. Um, I think they have the radio on down there, but you don't hear it. It's uh -huh. all you hear is people shouting, saying things like, "That's not like a fighter," and me going, "I'm not a fighter. Yeah, I'm a comedian." Yeah. And is it quite intimidating down there? I mean, do they? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they're nice people, but is I'm, it I'm like... getting used to it now. But it's it is it's, it is a different world, and I was quite scared, and I I didn't. When like... you say it's different, I mean, is it like is it like they're gangsters? I mean, is it kind of? No, I don't no, mean, I just mean no, no. Has it got that feel? You know when you see it in films, they walk into those places and, you know, they're kind of, they're hard nuts and there's that feel like... Well, they're, I mean, they're, they're, they're all, you know, they're all Xboxes and stuff, so yeah, yeah. But, I mean, but no, they're not, they're not no, no, that's not, that's not, I mean, I... I suppose it's like they're real men. <laughs> well, yeah, and, um, they, they, they don't understand, really, that I'm, I don't like getting hit on the nose. And they say, well, no one gets hit on the nose. And it took me a long time to get over that, just, just taking a couple of punches. Yeah. I, I wanted to rule it out. Yeah. And, uh, um, but, you know, it, it's okay now. And, and, of course, they're... I know they're molly coddling me. They're not. They're yeah. using about twenty five percent power, yeah. and I'm still. And you I'm wear the headgear? Do you? Oh yeah, 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 and the gum shield. Yeah, I wanted to wear a crash helmet, <laughs> right, but they yeah. said no. And carry a baseball bat, and they yeah. said that's that's technically <laughs> illegal. <laughs> but um, I'm looking for I'm a changed man, Carl. What we got coming up? Got a bit of a uh, death in Vegas with vocals from Liam Gallagher. Final question for you, Rick. Do you, you think you'll carry on boxing after this is finished? Competitively? No, no, no. Just the training and stuff. Yeah, and I, I do, do the training. So? Yeah, no, I love the, I love the training. I love learning the, the skills, and I, and I do enjoy the training. I don't, I, I don't relish getting 
punched around. And, I, and I'm not worried about the fight at all. I'm really looking forward to the, the fight because, um, Grant's a novice like me. It's just when you get in with an ex-pro who you know could destroy you. <laughs> yeah, any, yeah, yeah. So you're scared of it. And, 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 you know, they never lose their rag and they're really cool and they're really nice and they've never, act, they've never even hit me by mistake. But even just tapping you like that in the yeah. face hurts. I just, I was walking down Finchley Road and a couple of six formers said, oh, you lanky gog like freak. And I just wondered if maybe you could pop round and have a word with them. <laughs> yeah, I will. I will. Some of your friends. No, yeah. Uh, an enemy of yours is an enemy <laughs> of mine. Good. Scorpio Rising, Death in Vegas on XFM 104.9. Steve, mm -hmm. I'm Ricky Gervais. Carl, Carl's a little bit more, less stressed now. There's a ca camera crew have gone, his dad's not listening, we think. Well, uh, yeah, who knows? Mm, who knows? But, uh, you're chilled. I'll tell you what, though, me, uh, my mum was loving it. Do you, know, do you know Rockbusters? I love, do I know Rockbusters? I love Rockbusters. She's, I think uh, I dream of it. She was taking part, I mean, she doesn't know a lot of the, the new bands and that, mm. but she, uh, she made some up for, uh, some older bands and that. Oh, she, she did some herself? She made some herself, sent them in the post. So are you gonna use those today? Um, she's not quite got the hang of it. That's okay, well, no, unlike, unlike a genius son. Have you got them there? Can we hear what they well, are? You keep talking a second then. I'm quite excited. I mean, if they're, if they're even approaching, say, the genius of Wet Knee Houston. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. Uh, there was another one which was something to do with a trench, Carl. What was that? Oh, that was Dandy Warhols. That was a good one. Dandy Warhols. That, I think yeah. that was his, that, that was, was his finest moment. Yeah. yeah. Incidentally, I've got an email here from, uh, someone called Sam. I don't know if that's a uh, he or a she, but let's assume it's a she, just for, uh, glam's sake. Yeah. Um, she said she saw an old man eating a Twix last week, Carl, so that blows your theory at all. I'm not having it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so if you are a bloke, he's calling you a liar. So maybe you want a little rumble later. In fact, if you are a bloke, he's calling you a girl. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah Alan. Um, these are ones that my mum's made up. Um, Brilliant. Right, just in case you're a new listener, I give some initials out and a cryptic clue. And, and it makes up a band, doesn't it? Yeah. Or a solo artist. Yeah, or a solo not artist. so much cryptic as what, what, what you're thinking. But yeah, go on. Uh, my mum sent this one. Uh, this group would be good at doing your hair. <laughs> this group would be good at doing your hair. TP. Uh, is, there, is there a group called the hairdressers <laughs> from the 60s? This group would be good at doing what? your hair. TP. TP, TP. Is it the something? The platters. The platters. Yeah, that's yeah. all right. Yeah, that's, that's, that's all right. Nice. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, this group sound like dinosaurs. Group sound like dinosaurs. T Rex. T Rex. <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean. They're not so much cryptic, are they? Uh, this group. <laughs> they're, they're alone. They're good. This group <laughs> likes being uh, by the sand and the and the sea. <laughs> this group likes being. <laughs> they're the Beach the Boys. Boys. Beach Boys. <laughs> 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 this band are called the Beatles. Ah, uh, the Beatles. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> this, uh, we just have. We just uh, have a. <laughs> <laughs> What else you got? Um, <laughs> it's funny because one of them that she's done, I'm actually doing today, I thought of in the week. Right, so. is it the same clip? Uh, it was, yeah. Wow, well, well, great minds think alike, so this is obviously one. coincidence. Here's the last one from a. This guy sounds superb. <laughs> this guy sounds superb. The Bachelors. Glenn Campbell. <laughs> 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 not bad, That's good. I like that. I think I'd tell you this. I think you should get onto one of the big game uh, organisations, Parker Brothers or whatever, because this has got to be. T I mean, this could sweep the nation at Christmas. Don't you think this is a perfect Christmas game? <laughs> yeah. Well, I think this is what's going to make or break the MTV thing. Right. Nice. <laughs> Some kind of TV version. Yeah. Uh, I'm just yeah. thinking into mm -hmm. ad breaks, you know, coming up next is this band. Be careful though, Carl, because, you know, make sure you retain the rights, because I can see this selling abroad. You yeah. Know, you and I can America. see someone coming along and taking this sort of like the, the, the rock busters and changing one word and like another na like another game out of it and just what, using the same format. What, I don't you know, mean? I know, uh, I know, I can't think of them there, but they could change. So it's sort of like. They yeah. change the word rock to something else and have it. What could it be? Brick block? Yeah, and so you'd have to, yeah. you know what I mean? So yeah, be careful. Blockbusters yeah. will never work. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his little face. So, uh, so yeah, so we're doing that later. Got some good prizes. Okay. We'll talk about the prizes. We'll talk about that in a bit. Yeah. yeah. Um, educating Ricky. Yeah, we've got that. that. We've got the woman who's got a ghost in her house. Yep. It's a shame she's not here live, because I feel like I want to ask a few questions, Rick. I don't know about you. Don't uh, worry, I've covered it all. You've covered it all, God. Yeah. So... Yeah, play a record. Christchurch, Dorset. Christchurch, Dorset. Christchurch, Dorset. Christchurch, Dorset. You have to complete and utter lie. Christchurch, Dorset. Because I still have a friend that's from Christchurch. You have to complete and utter lie. Dorset.
Christchurch, Dorset. Christchurch, Christchurch, Dorset. Christchurch, Christchurch, Dorset. Christchurch, Dorset. Like where were you born and raised? It was like Christchurch, Dorset. Christchurch, 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 Dorset. Christchurch, Christchurch, Christchurch. Christchurch, Christchurch, Dorset. 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 Christchurch, Christchur